you're gonna meet a bitch, that's where you're gonna meet hey. one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Give me a sip of that. What? Come on! My throat's dry as a motherfucker. Why? Is your mother dry when you're... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that, huh? Nothing. Well, it didn't sound like nothing, all right? It didn't seem like nothing. I don't think that it was nothing. No, I didn't mean nothing by it, old man. What, old man? Old man! Fuck you, you creepy old motherfucker. That's right. I said it. Creepy. Old! Motherfucker! Ah! No! Jesus. Huh? No, come on. Get what? Up. What? What? Sorry. Now, where sorry. were we exactly, huh? Get up. Get up. Ah. I'm sorry, man. We're Help. sorry. Help! There's a guy with a gun! Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'll be real neighborly of you. Hell. Why not? All right then, up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Yeah, that's it. Give them hell. Shoot another one. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. 
Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. Ain't she a beauty? Drives like a dream. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I want to see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect, right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. What? Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. Jesus! I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. What the hell? Sometimes I come up here with my girl. I ain't the prettiest, but she can handle a firearm like a Marine. Mm, she got lucky with you, all right. Show them sometimes you ain't a slave to the system. Man, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks a tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. All right, I see him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Been saving on bullets now. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. What? That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. There you are, handsome. Hello, Mud. 
How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. I'll have to keep an eye out for you. What have we got here? this again. Solo que dijo ella. <laughs> hey, ese, que onda? You say, amigo? Where you from, Bato? It's none of your business, huh? Okay? Hey, huh? it's a slight accent. Huh? Fuck you. Hey, so huh? I grew up in Canada, huh? huh? What's a big fucking deal? Huh? You fucking whoa, whoa, racist! Whoa, 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 whoa. And before hey. you fucking ask! Chill, home, chill. No, I'm not a motherfucker! You think I 
give a damn about you, get a girl back! Nice piece, dawg. Hey, hey, yo, yo, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Hey, what's cracking on me? What you doing around here, man? Me? Yeah, you, motherfucker. You. What? I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Who else you think I'm talking to, homeboy? I'm getting bored of this. <laughs> what? It's what? not legally fucking if you do not penetrate. Oh, ah, shit, man. Oh, this fucker. Me fuck. Hey, Carrie, can I bet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Quick! Go on, go after him! Someone call the phone! And an ambulance! It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? 
Doggy, come on, doggy. Be good to daddy. Gotcha, you little bastard. There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. Okay, huh? Now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. I've got things moving on that Chalk! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals caller from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. Tradesman's entrance. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I can't believe. Okay, which one of you cupcakes is Willie? Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> his dentist. Willie's still downstairs shutting up some bird, man. Whoa, his dentist comes to him? That is so cool. Oh, some of the shit. Hey, man, no more. Oh. <laughs> Security! Security! Where's the cutie? Ah! 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 My tooth, you bastard! You're out of your fucking mind! I'd say my work is done here! Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! El jefe me va a matar. Oh. I could just climb over. for like two hours now. Yeah, okay, baby, just one more. Yo, that had to be a four-digit calorie burn. Really even definition. Yo, it is like I'm airbrushed, but I am not. Who the 
thought it. Turns out I'm a weapons-grade celebrity stalker. Hello? This is Nigel. Please be quick. I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. Word up! <laughs> I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your museum of dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. Competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? Oh, really? You think I was born yesterday? Who plays golf at midnight? That's uh, it. Walk away like uh, you always do. Hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. Sure, why not? The more dysfunction, the merrier. Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. She's not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. I take it you're leaving your underwear in the driveway then? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin has worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? T. Rever. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. What? What is that? Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So, what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And have you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, 
guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Uh, I'm not sure I'm your boy for moral compass questions. I'm good like that. If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. So, let me get this straight. You're pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated, even though you have cheated. Exactly. It's a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. I've never done anything at that golf club except play golf. And that's the god-honest truth, which is more than I could say about her spin class instructor. In fact, I wonder if her fat ass is admissible as evidence in court. Because if she's doing that much spinning, it should be like a bowling ball by now. Anyway, sorry. You don't need to hear this. Oh, don't worry. I pretty much switched off when you said your name was Castro. Money doesn't buy you happiness. It just buys you a lot of therapy to talk about why you're not happy. Thank God for golf. That's all I say. You play? Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days. I'm going, man, before you take advantage. So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoke-in. We're what? Yeah, we're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm-up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You no. Know. Get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. You know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. You know, we're gonna crush them with our resolve. Here. <clears throat> have a little taste of that. <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, it seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker. my constitutional rights. Anyway, I know you're coming here to suck cock, so it's all right. What the fuck you talking about? Well, hey, look, I saw a quarterback blues, man. And, you know, some of those older records of yours, even they sound a little bit closeted, I'm just saying. What? A black man walking in vine would you think he clay PG sellout? You bitch-ass punk oh. motherfucker. Oh, shit, man. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't, didn't have my, my contacts in, you know? I mean, I love black people. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like I love gangsters. I love, like, gangster rap. Yo, sup! Man, who gives a fuck if he's gay or not, man? The man is not married. It's his business. Leave motherfuckers alone. Well, 
I, look, I'm, I'm just saying that, that it's, it's the hypocrisy that I can't stand. You know, I mean, of celebrities. I mean, PG, right? He, he, he says he, he's a killer and a murderer and all that great stuff. And then, what, he, he loves his mother and likes show tunes. I mean, really, what kind of message does that send in our kids? You know what I'm saying? The guy's a fraud. But why do you care, man? Well, yeah, because, you know why? Because they all think they're gods, right? Well, fuck them. Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! Them! Fuck them! They're not magic! No, no, they're no better than me. They're no better than me. Shit! Oh shit! Oh my god, it's Miranda! Miranda, I love you, Miranda! Come on! Come on, come on it's fucking Miranda fucking Cowan! Because she's a fucking megastar! No, no, leave me out your shit, man. Oh no, no, no! We, we can make boku bucks here, man! We get one picture of, of her of her hairy legs or her aging muff, and we are in the money, man! In the money, bro! Come on! Come on, man! Come what on! What the fuck is wrong with me? Let's go! You drive, I'll get the shot! Go, go! Get us right up alongside that limo! Hey, man! You're a fucking mess! Look at you! Hey. It's in the public interest! You homewrecker! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah, give me more, give me more! I don't believe it! She's slamming a speedball in there, man! This is journalistic gold! Hey, here, 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 here! You spit! Home wrecker! Harlot! Man, they don't call her the silicone slattern for nothing! She looks like a bloodhound in a wind tunnel! God, I love her! Oh, man, no wonder this whole town's in therapy. I love her! I hate her! Oh! Show us your marriage busting muff, Miranda! You bitch! We done yet? No, she still looks too good! I want the prisoner of war shot. That's where the big zeros are. Open it up, you cow. You're an angel. An angel. Oh, yes. We got side boob. We're historians, crusaders of truth, my friend. Man, we're two creepy ass stalkers on a motorcycle. Fuck you, Beverly. This one's mine. Oh, no, no. It's that bottom feeder, Madison. Shit, he's getting the money shots. Where's your dignity, man? Forget Miranda. We can't let him steal my exclusive. Get alongside him. I'll knock the weasel off. Stay on that bastard. Are you trying to get... Are you You're crazy? Scum. Scum. Get away from me. Slippery son of a bitch. Fuck You're a you fucking lunatic. Oh yeah, I downloaded your pictures to the fucking road, Madison! Now grow up and get a boy's name. Okay, buddy, let's get out of here. I'm already late for another stakeout. All right, homie, it's been an education, dawg. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. The fans deserve answers. Shit, not if the question is how low is Miranda Collins' muff hanging or if she getting banged out by some second-rate director? They need to know everything, from crow's feet to camel toes. Hey, hey, hey! Come by the manor next week. We'll continue the search for the truth! Look, don't wait around for me, homie. Oh, I'm waiting for you, homie.
Can you help me? Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. Not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean... Not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. And I'm penniless now, what more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. 
I bet you would. <laughs> I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. Good to be true. Okay, that's it. Not me, Paul. You define everything that's wrong with this place. I'm very sorry. Truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. <laughs> Kiflam. Oh, Kiflam. really? Oh! Thank you. 